back for another uh, pay-per-view review. And this time I'm going to review Unforgiven. I kind of like to review things like in certain ways, just randomly. That's just me. So let's start with some of these matches. The first was, um, wasn't the, in my opinion, wasn't a good match. And it was super crazy defeating Shelton Benjamin. It was a seven minute match. It, it was fine for what it was. The next was Johnny Nitro with Molina defeating Jeff Hardy for the Intercontinental Championship. This was the time when they were feuding. And I like, I absolutely love Johnny Nitro. In, you know, him as a person, he great guy. Never liked this gimmick. Never liked this character. And it's just, it was a pass for me. Then you have the next match being Kane and Umaga and ending on like a double count out. And then there was another, and then the next match was a tag team match, which... Hear me out, hear me out. I gotta say this. I love the Spirit Squad. Oh, I love... Yeah, I'm a fan of the Spirit Squad. I actually like, you know... I don't know, it's hard to explain, but... Wasn't a bad tag team. And it was them defeating the Highlanders for the Tag Team Championship... And, uh, yeah. The next match is Degeneration X beating the shit out of the, uh, <laughs> man, they just scrimmage these guys, the McMahons and Big Show in the Hell in a Cell. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I've loved that match. I really, really loved that match. I like. Having it kind of, you know, it was just, <laughs> love that match. I love Shawn Michaels kind of getting his own vengeance towards those guys. And, you know, I just, I really, really loved this match. I loved, uh, you know... One of my favorite matches of the, of this pay-per-view. Next was Trish defeating Lita. It was right. Randy Orton defeating Carlita once again. An all right match. I like both you know, I absolutely love both wrestlers. Randy Orton, which now not really keen on him winning yet again but you know uh, if you think about it it was a pretty decent match from what I you know uh, what I have seen and then uh, we get to Cena versus Edge look at that po that you know that cover art is pretty cool you got Edge in the background, kind of like a Bond villain or a lethal weapon villain or whatever. And then you got Cena going insane. Like, I like pretty cool uh, DVD cover. I kind of liked Cena winning this and then look at, like, for one reason is getting that rated R spinny belt. And then... You know, my favorite spinny belt always been the radiant, rated R spinny belt. And to know, like, uh, this would be the end of that spinny belt. Uh, I don't know. Really weird with sorting and shit. And, uh, you know, this is one of, one of those, uh, better pay-per-views with, with these guys. And I, you know, adored it. 
especially with their feud. I think this is a really good feud, and uh, it ended up being vacant, but for what it was, it was a pretty, pretty decent pay-per-view, and a pretty decent match for these guys, and again, decent matches all around, but really cool pay-per-view.